Did you know your watch is a really great way to control music on your phone? And today we're going to show you all about it. Hey, it's Barbara and Karen here, the Sync Sisters. Our channel is all about simple steps for tech savvy living. And if you like what you see here today, please subscribe and share our video. And we absolutely love hearing mm. your comments. And so keep them coming. And uh, who doesn't like a good like? And also importantly, remember, please watch the videos because it's the only way we can continue to bring you this free content. So music on the watch is really fun and useful. Um, first, we're going to show you all about listening to music on, using the, on the watch. And then we're going to show you how you can control your iPhone's audio with your watch. Right. And that audio could be a song, it could be um, a show or a YouTube video or anything. Right. And uh, so where does the sound come from? Well, the sound does not come from ah, your watch. No. Um, you, I know you hear Siri on it, you hear alerts and such, but they do not allow music to come through that little tiny speaker. Right. This is Apple, right? Yeah. Music. Um, I bet music would require a bigger yeah, speaker. Yeah, yeah, makes yeah. Sense. yeah. <laughs> so um, what you do is you pair it with any Bluetooth headphone or speaker. Okay. okay? Um, like Apple's AirPods, of right. course, work fantastic. Yes. Um, but we they're... do have other options. These sleep phones are really nice. They're kind of like a little headband thing. I'm right. We'll show you those later. Right. Um, and of course, you can pair it to any Bluetooth speaker as right. well. Um, just remember, it has to be Bluetooth 4.0 or later. Um, headphones or speakers that are before yeah. 4.0, they might pair, they might not, and right. they might just not work very well. Right. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to pair a Bluetooth um, headset with your Apple Watch. Makes and, sense. Yeah, and we're going to use these Apple AirPods that come in this nice case. You can see they're all tucked away inside. In the back, there's a button and I'm going to I'm going to open up the top and I'm going to be pressing that button down okay. to take it from charge mode into ah. bluetooth pairing mode. And I saw okay. that green light went from green to, to white. white blinking, right? So it's in pairing mode. So now, now we can put those away. Right? And we're going to go back to the watch and I'm going to go okay. to the settings app which looks like the gear just like your phone. That's right. And go into bluetooth. Bluetooth and it's going to come up and it's going to show the devices that are paired already. We have the acoustic sheep headphones. We have the Bond outdoor speaker. And if I scroll down, we're going to see Barbara's AirPods not paired. Not paired. If I tap on it, it's going to go ahead and do its pairing. The cool thing about the AirPods um, is that once you pair them with one of your devices, it's paired with all of them. Ah, so yeah, nice. Really nice. All right, so that's how we pair the Bluetooth device. Great. Okay, so now we're going to show you two different options for wireless headphones that you can use with your watch, um, with your iPhone, your iPad, yep. and even your Mac. <laughs> so this is Apple's AirPods that we, we talked about a little bit earlier. We showed you how to, um, to pair them. And it comes in this really nice case. It has Apple-licious. A, Apple-licious. It's got a lightning port on the bottom for charging. It's got a a button, a soft button back here that you use to get it into pairing mode and you open it up and there are your headphones and you just pop yep. them out and you Simple. can see, that, yeah, the green light shows that they're, um, they're fully charged and you have uh, five hours of listening time on one charge, okay? okay? And it charges up in the case as well. So combined with the case, you have 24 hours of charging time. Okay. It's a fantastic option. That's great. Really great sound quality. The next one that we have is a wireless uh, headphone that is a headband. It is so fantastic. Um, this was created by a family doctor to help his patients fall asleep. And it is nice and soft. It goes on. Uh, these are called sleep phones. If I go over here, here, look at how small the speaker is. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's very comfortable. And it's nice and big and it's easy because it's a headband, uh, headband to position it on your head so that you can hear well. Um, they're just great. And this is the fabric. This is, they come in this uh, soft, cool breeze fabric, also come in a fleece. And it's just great for running and working out or sleeping, obviously. That's right. Right? So this is a great option for a wireless headphone. And if you um, would like either one of these products, please use our Amazon link in the uh, description below because um, it helps us bring us, bring you these free video tutorials. Now let's take a look at how to um, decide which device you're actually going to be playing music on. Right. Okay. So we're going to go back out to the watch face and we're going to scroll up from the bottom 
and we go all the way to the bottom and it's going to show you what the last paired device was, the Bond Outdoor Speaker. But if I want to change that, I just tap and hold on that or tap on it and it comes up and it'll show me the different things that we have. So here we have the Acoustic Sheep, here we have Barbara's AirPods, Air, AirPods and I can go ahead and tap on the AirPods and it's going to go ahead and pair with those. And it didn't. It's connection failure. Okay, Try because they weren't out. They so. weren't out. I was taking them out and making right. a lot of noise over here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we go ahead and do it again, and it's going to come up, and it's going to say But this is good to show, because just paired. like anything else, there's it's always a little tricky. you got to make sure you right. do it just right. you got to have the AirPods right. out of their box. That's right. And now <laughs> if we scroll up, you're going to see now it says Barbara's AirPods. Right. Could easily, And I'm going to actually go back to the speaker now, because... Uh, we may want to hear when we play music and we won't be able to hear them with the headphones. Right. So I'm going to go back to that Bond outdoor speaker that we have. Right. Okay. Okay. Now All we're right. going to go ahead and we're going to go into the music app on the watch. And I have this nice watch face here. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's called the modular watch face. And I have set it up with all the music complications oh, I could so find. <laughs> I've got the radio. I've got tune in radio and I've got Apple music and the now playing in the center. That's awesome. We're going to take a look at all these different things, but I'm going to just tap on the musical note, which is uh, taking us into the music app on the watch. Otherwise, if you don't have it as a complication on your watch face, you would choose it from the app homepage. That's right. And it always brings up, if you've been playing music recently, it always brings up the now playing screen. But okay. I'm going to go in the back arrow and I'm going to take us back all the way out to the main screen. Now, your screen might look a little bit yep. different. Yep. Depends on what you've been last doing. Depends yes. on if you're an Apple Music subscriber. Yeah, lots um, of things. There's a lot of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up to the top so you can see at the very top, you might see now playing, uh -huh. you might see shuffle right. now. <laughs> like on my watch right now, it doesn't right. show now playing because I haven't played music in a while. Right. You have. Right. And there, and then you'll see the library. And then what you'll see are you'll see some playlists. You'll see, right. and we're going to show you how to customize this in just a second. Right. Um, but these are just some recently played playlists. And if I go into library, you've got playlists, artists, albums, and I can use the digital crown to move in here too, and songs. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to go into a playlist, I could come down here, I could find a playlist, and voila, it's going to start playing on whatever device we had set up. Now the volume was down, I can use the digital crown to turn it up, and you can hear the music playing, okay? It's playing on our speaker. It is playing on our speaker, our Bluetooth speaker. And I can pause it, I could skip to the next song with these controls. Um, you're going to see, depending on what you're playing, um, some different things down here at the bottom. Now I'm going to go into this three line icon here and it's going to bring up and it's going to show me everything in the playlist because this was a playlist. It's showing me all the songs in the playlist. Okay. It's also showing me that I can do the shuffle now or I can do, um, repeat. Okay. So all that's right within here. If you've been playing a playlist. You'll also see the little cloud that'll show me whether or not I have it downloaded from iCloud. And I'll hit done yeah. and we're back out. I mean, it's quite extensive. Very nice feature. It's very extensive. It's very nice. Yeah. So now let's take a look at the app. Karen's going to bring the phone in here and we're going to take a look at the music app. Okay. I'm going to take the camera out here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. What I'm going to go into here is my watch app on my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And I'm going to uh, go down here and I'm going to scroll down a little bit to show, go into the music app. So I'm going to go down to M. And I should, I should mention that when you're in, um, you can, when you're in the music app on your watch, you can stream music just over the air, or you can add music to the watch itself. So you're not streaming all the time. And we're going to show you sure. how to do that right now. Okay, so the music app, the part on the, in the watch app for music, it's, it's not that, there's not that much to it. There are these four um, default playlists from Apple. There's Heavy Rotation, which will be songs you've been listening to. And then they have Chill Mix, New Mix, Favorite Mix. And these are really fun. They change these up weekly. You can explore that. And then uh, the only other thing you can do in this area is you can add music. Now, what you're doing here by adding music is you're downloading it to your watch. Right. So this is um, <clears throat> particular if you have a cellular, a Series 3, that means you don't have to have your phone. You can go out for a run and you can play that song. Right. And it won't be streaming. Yeah. So that's well, of course, nice. you, yeah, you could always stream when yeah. you're out running yeah. too. But also note that it will only, your Apple Watch has to be on its charger 
in order for it to sync this music that we're going to add right now. So okay. it needs to be on the charger to do that. Okay, so if I tap the plus button and go out and it's going to go into, you know, my music, I'm just going to pick a song and then I'm going to tap on the song. And it added it. And it added it. And there it is. So now that is downloaded to my watch. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the radio app on the watch, okay? Okay. And that's new with the with the cellular watch, and um, it's right up here. It's got a little thing, a little um, I don't know, kind of a round like a radio sound signal. bite, a radio yep. signal. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on it. It's going to take me in. I'm sorry, but yes. in again, you had that a complication on your face. I did. If you don't, you get it from your app homepage. That's right. And it's going to again. I was playing something through the radio. I was playing NPR news, so it's coming up with the now playing screen on oh, you're that. You're so dangerous. With your dangerous. <laughs> and here um, we're we can see that it's come up to NPR news, Minnesota Public Radio. If I scroll down, it's oh. going to show me recently there you played. Go. There you go. Now you're getting hip, right? <laughs> recently played channel. <laughs> Tom Jones, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, here's Beats One. This is the the top charts. Right. Um, or I can go into stations, Ooh. and there are some featured stations at the top. Again, you can use the digital crown to scroll through them, um, or you can go into genres, and you can really pick anything you want. You could go into jazz. You can pick, you know, and it'll show you all the different. In this case, jazz um, radio stations. radio stations that it has. Yeah. You just tap That's on one. Cool. It'll start playing. Yeah. Um, it's kind of similar to. Tune in radio or I have heart radio, That's but right. it's Apple's version of it. That's right. And it'll go ahead and start playing on whatever the last device was that you were using. Groove on, baby. Groove on, baby. <laughs> and you can add it to your library by hitting the plus button and it'll 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 add it. Okay? Perfect. So that's the radio. It's very simple. There's no app, there's no settings for it anywhere. It's just a very simple uh, an easy way to listen to the radio. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now we're going to show you how using your watch can control the iPhone's music. Yes, and this is really fun. Um, so those are the two ways. So we just looked at all about right. watch music, but now we're going to talk about using the watch to control your iPhone. Uh, which you Spotify <clears throat> users are going to love because right. uh, you can control Spotify with your watch. For right. playing on your phone, right? Right. But first of all, we're going to take a look at the music app here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a song. All right. Okay. And play it. So we're, we're going, going to, to tap it. on it and we're going to play it. And now it's playing. And I'm going to bring in, that's all we need with that's the watch. That's it. That's it. it. That's it. We just started it there. And Thanks, what we're phone. Going to... <laughs> and when I tap here, look at that. iPhone. It's showing the song that we just picked. And it's playing on our speaker. It's playing on our up, speaker. You can, you can hear it. Okay. Turn it, turn it down. Turn it down. And I'll, we can pause. We can go to a next song if it was a playlist. If I tap on the three dots, it's going to come up and it's going to show me some options. I could delete this from my library. I can love this song. Then if I tell it to, you know, that, that's just a way that Apple Music works. You can love songs or dislike songs and then it won't play them as much for you. And that's really all you can do. Now, it, it, this applies to anything that you're playing. So as Karen just mentioned, if you're a Spotify user and you start playing Spotify on your phone, guess what? You're controlling Spotify with your watch. Right. Okay? So that's the way you do it. You can do volume. You can skip songs. Okay. Yep. All right. Now, another thing I wanted to show you here is that because now we've started with our iPhone, notice in the upper left, it shows iPhone. Okay. And that means that we're on the source iPhone. I'm going to tap the back arrow and you're going to see in the now playing, we now have two different things we can pick. Perfect. We can pick Apple Watch or we can pick iPhone. Oh, that's easy. So if I tap on the Apple Watch, I'm in the Apple Watch yep. and I can control and start playing that music. If I go back again, I can tap on the iPhone and I can start playing that music. Oh, simple. Very simple. Another thing about the now playing screen that you should know is it's not an app. You can't like go find it out in your app homepage. Okay. You're not going to find it out here. Okay. You're not even going to find it if you put it into a list. Where it's going to show up is in the side button. If you tap on the long button on the side, it's going to show up there. So if okay. you've been playing music recently, um, it will show up here. Oh, good. Okay. That's good to know. That's how you would get to it. Right. If it doesn't come up right away. Also, if you don't like the fact that it comes up on your phone all the time, 
You can turn that setting off if you go into the watch app settings. Mm -hmm. um, and then what is it? Wake screen, yep. which is kind of a goofy place, yeah. but wake screen. And then you can tell it to not audio, uh, right. start audio apps right away. Right. But I, I think like it's it. nice. Yeah. Like if I start yeah. watching a, a video on YouTube on my phone, it'll come up. Right. Now, another uh, fun thing is if you're using the workout app, the now playing, you oh, right. when your workout app, when your app workout is running, right. you swipe left and the now playing will be there. So you can control your music during your workout. That's right. And also the now playing complication is really nice. If you notice, I've got it here on this watch face in the middle. And at the bottom of it, it shows me where it's coming from. Right. This is coming from the radio. Right. If it was Spotify, it'd say Spotify. Right. Okay. And speaking of complications, we have a great video all about the watch faces. Oh, right. Yeah. All about faces. All about faces. Yes. It would be a good one to check it out. Right. Um, and so now about third-party apps, we're still talking yeah. about those. Um, there is a complication for TuneIn Radio. Yes, which is my favorite. Yeah. So if we tap on that, it's going to bring us into TuneIn Radio. I'm just going to go out to the main, and it's going to show the stations that I've recently been listening right. to. And I think the difference it's between really nice. TuneIn and the Apple Radio is that TuneIn will show you your local station. Right. You know? That's right. Yeah. So um, yep. that's so, the difference. Right. And it's got it's got more news and news news and talk yeah, show right. radios yeah. too or yeah. channels more than the Apple Radio right. does. So now we're going to show you uh, how to use Siri on the watch to control your music and you know who doesn't love Siri or maybe or, not or wink, maybe wink. not but but she <laughs> but, works really great on the watch. One of our biggest tips about the watch is using Siri. That's she right. is great. She's great on the watch. So one thing you should know is that Siri on the watch, if you command Siri to, to play some music, she's going to play it on your watch, on your phone. She's going to want... Not on your watch. Not on your watch. Or any other kind of uh, thing that you have. Right. She's going to play it on the watch unless or on the phone. Unless you're not near your phone, if you're out somewhere and you don't have your phone with you and you tell her to play music, she'll play it through the music right. app. If you have on, the Series 3. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and ask Siri to play some music. Oops. Oops. Long press. Play some Elton John. Yep, you can hear it. It's playing on my phone. Okay. If I turn the volume up. She packed my bags last night, pre flying. And, and there, see finally it says, changed here. It says iPhone at the top of your watch, right, too. Right, right, exactly. Right. iPhone right here. And then, of course, we can long press here to choose where that music's playing. So if I didn't want it to play actually on the iPhone, I could come up here and it's going to bring up, oops, one more time. It's going to bring up the different ways that we could play the music. So these are your AirPlay devices that you have your phone paired with or that are near your phone. So here we have an Apple TV. Mm -hmm. If you had a HomePod, any other AirPlay speakers right. would yep. show up Which here. Which is not Bluetooth. Not Bluetooth. It's a little confusing with the watch it's because... Apple products is what it is. <laughs> well, no, it's any AirPlay speaker. Sonos makes them. There's a whole oh, bunch okay. of AirPlay All speakers right. out there. But um, you're seeing AirPods here simply because they are an Apple product and they do work... Right in this mode, but you won't see your other headsets here. Yeah, you you're notice right. you're right. I wasn't thinking right. Yeah, you notice you don't see the outdoor speaker we have because it's Bluetooth. Okay. Okay. All it's right. a little bit different. Um, I think that's gonna all kind of come right. together with AirPlay too, but right. Uh, but it's really great. So you can control the music here, you can turn it up, you can turn it down. Yeah. And Siri's just a great way to, to play the music. To play the music. And any of the Siri music commands, you could ask her to skip a song, play another song. You know, all the music yeah, commands right. that you can do will work here yeah, with Siri. Yeah, she's so handy to use on your watch. She's very handy. Yes. Yes. So I think, you know, music on the watch is just a fantastic feature, and it's such a fun thing to do. It really is. Well, thanks for watching our video today. We so love making these videos and bringing you this free content, but we do need your support. Right, so how can you support us? First of all, don't skip the commercials. That's how any creator makes money on YouTube. Um, like our video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And another great way is to go to our website using the link on the screen and um, shop through our Amazon link. Same secure Amazon shopping that you love at no extra cost, but it really helps support us to bring you these great videos. Right. So thanks for learning with us and thanks for supporting us.